MJF can't even do this for AEW, and in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what that is and why MJF can't do it, because MJF is one of, if not AEW's biggest stars under contract. He got paid handsomely by AEW, let's be real, in 2023 before confirming it in his return in 2024. You want him to play a babyface? You want him to be one of the most hated heels in all of pro wrestling? That's what MJF can do. He is the guy, and really, he's one of the only select guys that can move numbers. Whether it's TV ratings, whether it's live attendance, whether it's social media engagement, that's what MJF, he can do. That is something that is very important. Because AEW, they got a lot of talent under contract. Whether it's Mercedes Monet, Okada, John Motsley, Brian Danielson, Will Ospreay, Swerve Strickland, Hangman Page, your Adam Copelands, your Christian Cages, whether it's former WWE talent, whether it's homegrown talent that AEW has been able to make, they got a lot of talent. Talent is not an issue for AEW, and talent is not an issue for MJF. He's one of their best wrestlers. He's one of their best talkers. He's one of their best all-around characters. That's what MJF does. He was signed by AEW. Big bucks on the line because of what he can do on the microphone and inside the square circle. He had a bidding war between AEW and WWE where big money was being offered to him, and rightfully so. If you're a big star, you should expect big money, and that's what MJF has been able to do. He's been able to, no doubt, make himself a very notable name, and that's why AEW and Tony Khan literally just gave him a blank check, right? Big bucks. And he's had multiple uh, title reigns, but it's always been the top, Echelon. It's always been the main event. That leads us to today's video. I was thinking as I was going down the AEW roster, I was looking at their ratings on the decline. I was looking at their struggling live event attendance figures and just really oh, not a lot of buzz around AEW, which is a shame. As a guy that bought tickets to AEW Dynamite earlier this year here in Tulsa, I am a supporter for AEW. I want to see AEW. I'm not a weirdo who has tribalism in pro wrestling, where I'm a WWE fan or an AEW fan, I can't be either or. Get out of here with that weird nonsense. Go out there and touch some grass for God's sakes. But I will say this, just like Okada, just like Will Ospreay, just like Mercedes Monet, Brian Danielson, Adam Copeland, Adam Coles, you can go down the list. You can add MJF to it. He's not the savior of AEW. He can't Put the company on his back and move numbers. He's not a John Cena. He's not a Roman Reigns. He's not The Rock. He's not a Steve Austin. He's not a go down the list. He's not one of those mega stars where he moves gigantic numbers and helps the company thrive. Okay? He's just not. He's a very instrumental guy. He's a key player. He's a main eventer. He is one of their biggest stars. He is one of the biggest stars in pro wrestling. But AEW is at a point where they are so stagnated that not even MJF, not even the great Mercedes Monet, not even the great Will Ospreay can help this promotion kind of get out of this rut that they find themselves in. That's not a knock on the names that I just mentioned, including MJF. It's actually a knock on Tony Khan. I think it needs to finally be addressed. Nobody wants to. Let's go there. Tony Khan works multiple jobs every single day. He works 18 hours, 20 hours a day, nonstop working seven days a week. He is the creative mind in AEW. He's the head booker. He's the CEO. He's the president. Okay? Those three job titles alone would make most people go insane. But now he's doing other jobs. And people were always in... It just marveled at the fact that he could do all this. And wow, he he had a, he launched a promotion. Great in 2019. He had a strong 2020, probably a better pandemic year than WWE. Man, that's great. 2021, that was the peak of AEW thus far. And it slowly trickled down. MJF can't even overcome the lack of storytelling, the lack of promotion 
by Tony Khan. No one can. No one can. This is something that WWE has been able to overcome due to them changing bookers from Vince McMahon to Triple H. MJF can't save AEW. Let's be real, no one can in terms of in-ring talent. It comes from a promotion. Promote the fact that you're coming to my city more than just Twitter. Promote the fact that you are going to bring this name, this name, and this name, and they're actually going to appear. Don't just say, well, AEW is coming to town. Sorry, folks, you're not WWE. Those three letters do not carry more weight than go down the list. Your MJFs, your Mercedes Monet's, your Alcadas, da 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 da. You need those talents on that marquee to promote the fact that they are going to be there. So when I buy a ticket, I can expect to sit down and see them inside of the ring. You cannot overcome, if you are MJF, a lack of storytelling that actually makes sense. Your tagline in AEW may be, this is where the best wrestle, but it's not where the best wrestling promotion is at. You can have some of the greatest performers in the world, but if you suck at storytelling, you are not going to get as far as you want. You're not going to build as big as you want. The action inside of the ring has to correlate with the story that you are telling, and the story that you are telling has to match what is in the ring, and the match finish should correlate to the story that you are trying to tell. Not just, hey, let's put a five-star match on so Uncle Dave Meltzer will love it. Okay? That's just not. Can we tell some stories? Can we tell some stories that make sense? Can we tell some stories for MJF to not just have the best storyline in all of the promotion? Can we tell more stories like MJF and Adam Cole, which doesn't make sense? Can we can we stop doing that? Can we tell the MJF Adam Cole story before Adam Cole turned on MJF? Can we tell stories like Mariah May versus Tony Storm? Can we tell stories like Swerve Strickland and Hangman Page? Can we do that more often? Can when we have big match opportunities like Britt Baker and Mercedes Monet? Can we capitalize like we did on that? Can we start making sense now of the MJF Adam Gold storyline? Because I can't. Can you tell me? I'd love to hear it. I'll be here all day. MJF can do that. He needs help. Just like Mercedes Monet needs help. Just like Okada needs help. Just like Will Ospreay and Swerve and Hangman and go down the list. They need help. And you can only get help by the guy that's in charge. By the guy that's promoting the show. That the guy who is telling the storylines that are creating the anticipation. You can only do so far as a wrestler. You need a little help from the guy that's in charge. So yes, MJF can't do that.